that, and we have a little way to go before we reach there. So I'm just telling you so nobody will rush to reach home. I also want to tell you to make sure you get your number because the number from the back will be used to determine who participates in the pick up and competition. At this point in time, we have a very important person who is going to speak to us. He is no stranger to the residents of Gasparillo or the Tabakit constituency. Mr. Anil Ramjit is a holder of a Bachelor of Technology degree in Electrical Engineering from UTT and the University of the West Indies. He previously worked at Hydro Agri, Amoco, and Petrotrin in the engineering departments and is currently the business owner of a supermarket and a pharmacy right here in Gasparillo. He has been the Gasparillo Chamber of Commerce President, a committee member of the Confederation of Regional Chambers, and President of the Bonaventure Development Committee. But beyond all these achievements, Mr. Ramjit's real characteristics emerge from his engagement in charitable causes and community activities. He was involved in organizing several community sporting events. He is a board member of the Trinity Missions Church, and perhaps most relevant to our program today, he is a guitarist. So perhaps Rana would want to engage him in their next rendition. As a true son of the soil, it, has, it is therefore not surprising that Mr. Ramjit has been given the nod to represent the Tawaki constituency as the People's National Movement General Elections candidate. So let us put our hands together as we welcome a son of the soil, no other than Mr. Anil Ramjit. Master of Ceremonies, Dr. Rampasad, Minister of Planning and Development, the Honorable Penelope Beckles, our speaker, Mr. Randall Sinanan, Chairman of the Tawakit Executive People's National Movement, Mr. Curtis Shades, other specially invited guests, our Hindu brothers and sisters, the residents of Gasparo and Bonaventure, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> A pleasant good evening and should be well. As we recognize the Hindu community and join in celebrating Diwali, tonight demonstrates the beauty of a people of diverse cultures and different walks of life coming together in ce to celebrate the symbolism of light over darkness and good over evil. Now this is one of my first speeches on a platform like this, and I didn't want to do it with reading glasses, so forgive me. In this time of sp spiritual awakening, a time when our country needs spir spirituality more than ever, we, s we seize this opportunity to celebrate the festival of Diwali. This is a period of heightened awareness that respect and the love for God are values that, est that help shape a responsible society and a respectful and progressive people. It is well established that spiritual values mold our lives by giving us a moral sense of direction. When we are engaged in community service like this, it creates a sense of camaraderie, 
among our residents, where each of us become our brother's keeper. Diwali is a celebration that invokes prayerfulness. And today, I make a special appeal to parents. I admonish you to guide your children along a path of godliness and good virtue. Mothers, the role of a mother as the principal form in Diwali cannot be overstated. There is something special about a mother, her prayers, the role she plays in her children's life and their upbringing, and the responsibility and burden she carries within the family unit. Today, our young people are pulled away from godly principles, their lives so easily influenced by social media, peer pressure, and recently bullying, and a host of uncertainties that can present a dark and destructive path. Tonight, our celebration is one of light. Light over darkness is a symbol of good, good conquering evil that gives us all a renewed sense of hope. While growing up, I recall Gaspro as a community and Bonaventure as a community that epitomizes the true spirit of multicultural with buzzing and many cultural events such as this, many, many. But over the years, these colorful events have gradually faded away. Tonight, we are happy to ignite such a spark once more as we make this event a stepping stone in rebuilding our constituency, our community, and our country. This can only be accomplished with strong leadership and a united people. Planning a program of this magnitude in a short three weeks bears testimony to the power of such unity. And I just want to say something here. Today we were discussing it. We, our entire team, 99% of our team, were not Hindus. And that shows and tells of the unity we have and that we can put aside our differences for a greater Bonaventure, for a greater Gasparillo, for a greater Tabakit, and for a greater Trinidad and Tobago. It is a well understood and established reality that everything rises and falls with leadership. As I offer myself to serve you, the people of our constituency, our community, to provide this critical leadership that is necessary for growth of our community and our constituency that we all so desire. I ask you to consider my history, and many of you know that. Whoever lives in Bonaventure know my service to my community. Who else can be better suited? On this sacred occasion, I pledge to continue to serve you with every drop of life and energy that the Almighty has granted to me. As I exit this podium, I just want to wish our minister, our special guests, and especially our Hindu community, a should be well. Thank you. That was Anil's maiden speech. We know there was a bit of nervousness in his voice. But I think he did an excellent job as presenting himself to the people to serve and to serve selflessly. And I want to say that this program, the putting together of this program, was sponsored mainly by Anil. So let's give him once again a round of applause. At this point in time, I think we know what we have. Baby Susan once again, and this time with her multicultural dance group, as we welcome them on stage to greet us with their wonderful talent. Baby Susan and group. <laughs> 